went back in the garage to prove to myself that I'm okay now on the Arcroid. Uh, you saw the last video, I did some of that, um, proving that the Arcdroid still works with just the torch activation circuit hooked up to my prime load cut, set, cut 60. Um, and so this is to further prove that to myself. That's how it's hooked up now, just the cut, the turning on the torch circuit is hooked up between the Arcdroid and the cut 60. And, uh, so I'm gonna cut something out and see what see how it comes out. 16 gauge is just a little sign, but I'll hang up here. It's nothing for anybody else. But if it can cut that out, I'm satisfied that things are back to the way they were, and I'm I'm good to go to continue to use it. And uh, so let's see what happens. Okay, so I have the design loaded. Drew it in Inkscape as usual. Um, Load it in. As, as usual, you have to change the order inside out. And um, I made the lead ins a little smaller, 0.12. And uh, it's a right cut, so that lines everything up so the cuts are all in the right spot. The lead ins are in the right spot. And then settings um, feed rate is 110 inches per minute which is good for this material, 16 gauge. And plasma cutter set for 30 amps and 70, uh, 70 PSI for the air. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, as you can see, that cut just fine. There was no, no pausing or anything. The Arcturoid did what it was supposed to do. I cleaned out the little pieces that were stuck in by the dross, but it's a, yeah, a little sign for myself to you to hang up somewhere. But the key was the Arcturoid cut all these cuts, did not once pause or lock up or no hiccups whatsoever. Um, the, uh, so that tells me that the noise that, of having that second circuit in the wire to the uh, to the arc drive from the prime load cut 60 was the issue. That was the only time I ever saw a lock up was after I hooked up that circuit. So at this point I would say, especially if you have an older model like mine where the, CN, the CNC port is at the bottom near the power supply, uh, well, don't buy one of those and hook it up to an arc droid. If you have one of those, just use the arc droid, I mean, just use the torch control circuit. Uh, I would not recommend hooking up the voltage, so still sticking with that story. Um, I did reach out to Prime Weld, and they said, yeah, a lot of people with arc droids have been having that problem. They don't know what's up with the arc droid. So here we go with the finger pointing. Uh, arc droid warned, you know, it was not on their accepted list. 
Um, I had already bought mine, so unfortunate for me. But um, so even still, I think it's like uh, partially accepted, and it, the newer ones are preferred. So at this point, I'd have to say, you know, if you want an arc droid uh, or planning on getting an arc droid and you don't have your plasma cutter yet, buy a different one. Buy a different plasma cutter. If you have this plasma cutter like me and you still want an arc droid, an arc droid um, it'll work fine if the only circuit you hook up is the torch control circuit. And I'm going to continue to use mine. I'm not replacing it. And uh, yeah, you won't be able to use the torch I control, but I don't think it's going to be critical for me. Some people may actually need it. Um, I think most people probably can figure out a way around it, you know. So, uh, and the other feature that the Arc Droid does support for this is uh, the auto level feature. So, you can look at that, there's videos on it, but uh, basically it lets you pick three points on the material. So, it gets a, it can draw essentially a map, you know it's moving uphill, and it'll raise the torch to compensate for that. So, that may be good enough for me. Um, I don't have that working yet uh, because my Arc Droid's having trouble updating. Uh, the firmware so still working on that but again everything else works fine i mean couldn't cut this by hand and it was not very difficult with the arc droid so still a big fan of the arc droid so i wouldn't say i mean if you're still putting together your package which i probably should go over exactly what my package is here on someday but if you're still putting together your package uh, don't be afraid of the arc droid but make sure you buy, if you're going to need torch height compensation, make sure you buy um, a plasma cutter from the list that is fully supported um, with the Arc Droid. Because uh, at this point, I can't recommend the Primewell Head 60 for all features. But it does work with the, the torch control, and that's the main thing. So, uh, yeah. I'm pretty happy with it still. Okay, so I had another thought. Um, if it's truly noise that's causing the problem, I didn't hook the circuit back up, so I still only have the trigger circuit hooked up. But if it's truly noise that's causing the problem, the noise should get worse with higher amperages. So I threw some quarter inch material up here and I just loaded the um, bottle opener file that I was using in the last video. Simple, I don't know if it's a great bottle, bottle opener. It'll open bottles, I'm sure. But anyway, the main thing is something to cut. So 45 um, inches per minute, 45 amps, and uh, quarter inch material. So let's see what happens when we cut this. perfectly no pauses no hiccups even at the higher 45 amps so um, that's a good deal okay so um, like I said I was kind of doing this to convince myself that everything's still fine working well with the arc droid I've got maybe the world's heaviest uh, bottle opener here at a quarter inch um, so the higher amperage, 45 amps, cutting this, 45 inches per minute, so it's a little bit slower, but not a hiccup at all. So um, the higher amperage didn't cause the problem, the noise. Um, cut out this whole sign, this is 16 gauge, and uh, no hiccups whatsoever. So I'm back to being happy with it. Um, the exception of, you know, no torch height compensation for me with that. Uh, Prime will cut 60, so again, like I said, uh, don't, <laughs> don't buy the cut 60 to use with your arc droid if you, if you think you need torch height compensation. Um, apparently there's a newer, newer version than mine that has fixed that problem, but I don't know that that's been verified with arc droid, so 
check with them to see if that's on the now on the okay list for newer ones. Uh, if not, if you don't have a plasma cutter yet, buy a different one. That's, that's all I would say. Uh, I, I have gotten good support from Prime World in the past. Um, I had an issue with my torch. Um, they, they had no problem. They sent me new uh, internals to fix it. Fixed it. Works great. So um, just saying that probably not the best choice for the Prime World. Uh, for the art for it. So, uh, I think I'm going to kind of try to step away from this issue and not talk, you know, not make videos about that anymore and try to do more projects. It's more fun. But um, anyway, thanks for watching.